I'm back. I know, I haven't uploaded in a month. I'm working on the videos. It was originally gonna be a seven week streak of videos then it turned into... <laughs> but more likely if y'all are here and y'all just randomly just stumbled on this video, Hey, <laughs> I'm the Soul Gauge here. Welcome to a random video. I just decided to just drop because gamers unite. We are eating good this year. Not only was last year free freaking great, even like some games can be like, oh, that it's kind of mid, I guess. They were still pretty good. I think Spider-Man 2 was pretty disappointing in some aspects, but it was still a pretty good game. Great even. Elden Ring dropped its expansion, not DLC, expansion this year. And it's convinced me more and more to get my Souls of Bad Veteran butt right out of retirement. The new state, state of Play also just dropped and we got like, you know, Ghost of Tsushima 2, which is, you know, Ghost of Yo Yote, and it's looking nice. We're getting it, we're getting the Lair of the Le Legacy of Kain games, Soul Reavers 1 and 2 re remastered, like those OG games. Metaphor, the new RPG by A Atlas, apparently is gonna be just as long as OG Persona 5 was. Huh? So much hype is building for that game slow closing to its release date to the point where Yo Kotaro, the guy behind the near series, draw draw dropping one liners like this. And they got so much confidence for this game that they are dropping a five hour demo containing its prologue. The Silent Hill 2 remake, even though I'm still planning on playing the, the original before I even give the, the remake even a, a, a shot, people are saying after that gameplay re reveal, they've been slowly revealing things that are looking better and people are high for that. And speaking of survival, survival horror, we also, we also got the original Resident Evil trilogy, like like the original games from from from, from the '90s, dropping on PC in years. They are exclusively right now on GOG, which is an entirely different different storefront. But I promise you, they are one of the better storefronts because they're completely DR DRM free. Babe, basically, we're like once you install the games you install them but they got controller support and the, these games still play great and just oh my god like so you don't have to go out of your way to find a way to emulate the older games if you really want to see how how, how they're like or how you want to play you know just playing them your, your, yourself you can just straight up buy buy the games the way god god intended it just off rip there's a freaking patrick star game coming out and i pre-ordered it Marvel Rivals is con come now, which is basically just a Marvel version of o o Overwatch, and it is looking too damn fun. Marvel Rivals is lo looking to drop Overwatch from, from, from its crown. From everything I've seen, from everyone that's been talking about it, it's, like, it's looking awesome. We got Astrobot. This freaking game just came out of nowhere. An actual C sequel to a Astro's Playroom. My personal favorite game I played last year because last year was when I finally got my PlayStation 5. And yeah, it was my game of the year over the RE4 re remake. Black Myth Wukong is an absolute banger. And I'm, and I'm, I'm still in chapter one for everything I played so far. It is so freaking fun and it is just everything just a gamer wants and needs an action adventure game on a triple a bu budget and it's apparently on and apparently its difficulties is on par with a souls game even without it being a souls like game if this year just keeps going going on we might we might as well finally get get, get a release date on silk song by, by the time the game awards comes out i mean this is also the year where we got freaking pal world a game where it's basically Pokemon with guns and also the same game where apparently you can also make humans your slight I mean pals It's kind of inhumane Helldivers 2 dropped and making everyone patriotic for for super earth which had gamers on a chokehold for a good while until until Warhammer came in and was like I Got some more for yo we even got a Persona 3 remake, which from everything I've I've heard and from from all I played up until a certain point, believe me, dude, I'm I'm, I'm gonna get back to that game. I, I'm genuinely gonna get back to that game. But but from everything I, I've seen, even from like listening to the music and everything, it's just it, it feels like it, it's literally Persona 3, but just 
it's per it's Persona 3 just remade and it's feeling great. Final Fantasy 7 Re Rebirth, the, the the second chapter to the remake trilogy that they're doing. The more I hear about that, the more like I'm starting to like get off course and start doing my Final Fantasy 7 marathon. <laughs> The more I hear of Dragon Ball, the new Sparking Zero game, which is basically Budokai Tenkaichi 4, just on a much, much, much bigger scope. The way they basically just are revealing everybody that's gonna be in the game to just showing that, oh yeah, this is gonna be Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi Triple A. Also showing you that you can do what if, what if stuff and create your own stories, at least in terms of making stories that leads up to certain battles like actually going to do that there is a bunch of games like along alongside alongside the resident evil trilogy there's just a bunch of games just getting re-released just in general recently i mean the original clock tower does anyone even remember or even know what clock tower is a point and click adventure survival horror game just getting re-released literally on halloween Dragon Quests 1 through 3 getting remade with the third game being completely remade and coming out this year. I know we're in the realms of remasters, re-releases, re-remakes, but also like, like we can't we can't help but just the the brand new games that have been coming out this, this year as well. Like you you can't be telling me otherwise. Now I know people are getting mixed on Dragon Age 4 right now, especially but for me, I'm excited for Dragon Age. I, I loved Origins. I thought 2 was alright. I really enjoyed Inquisition, but it, it could have been better, better in some places. I am just hoping, especially after the long wait it took for, like, it's... Oh my god. I just realized it's been, it's going to be 10 years since Inquisition came out. I am just hoping that this this is just like the closing chapter for Dragon Age and they ended on a really neat bow. I'm just praying at this point. Call of Duty Black, Black Ops 6 is actually look, looking pretty pretty nice, but just in case that this that this uh that that kind 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 of sucks, I'm going to be playing the original Black 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 Ops cuz I haven't played this in years. And there's an Indiana Jones game coming out that is being made by the Wolfenstein devs and it looks really good. I'm uh, I'm telling y'all, we 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 are in good. Even though there have been stinkers this year, but we've all united and and said we don't want this. But so far, it's been a pretty cool year. Like in terms of like actual like just really cool things to be be excited about and actually getting them and playing them. How can you not be happy with some of the stuff here? I mean, this is like enough bad bad backlog of games that last you like on average like. Five five years, and that's just me being generous. Even a physical version of Ball Ballers Gate Three came out, and it's, it's and it's the most complete it has ever been. But every time I look at that game, every time I look at that game, I'm like, dude, I love the Mass Effect trilogy. I love long, on ongoing stories that you can keep on playing, and, and it's just like you know, like because I see the Mass Effect trilogy, I see those original three games as one gigantic ongoing story i love dragon age origins persona 5 royale is my favorite video game of all time again like final fantasy 7 i am trying to resist the urge of not going off course oh my god how can i forget i heard i heard the new princess peach game was pretty good i heard stellar blade was fun another crabs tre treasure i forgot about that hey hey hades 2 went on to early access Tekken 8, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. Uh, I heard Dragon's Dog, Dog Run 2 was, pr was, was, was pretty great, if you weren't on PC. <laughs> I heard the new Prince of Persia was fun. There was a Animal Well. Oh yeah, and there was that game from the from the Genshin I Impact devs, Zen Zenless Zone Zero, Zero. I heard that one's pretty fun. I I I'm telling y'all. I know we still got the last qu quarter left to really judge the overall year, but if I'm gonna be honest, the like regardless of really, really, really what really what happens, like let's say like let's say like Dragon Age Veilguard does, does turn out to be bad, or somehow the Silent Hill 2 remake even, Coldly Black Ops 6 somehow somehow turns out pretty bad. I think we'll be all right still because 2024. I think we just hit another home run. 
I just wanted to come on here and just talk talk about talk talk about like games because I just get so giddy when it just comes to just po positive stuff overall. Like it, it, it's just it's just infectious. But 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 I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get back to add that editing here and. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna record another episode of Astrobot. Like, I really, I, I, I need, I, I, I need to beat a game. Okay, like, I really need to beat a game at this point.